In this episode of Art Talks with Arishals, we will be talking about three childhood reminders for your inner artist. As kids, we were very different as an artist than what we become when we grow up. And what those differences were and how talking about them can change our perspective even now. Let's know exactly that and with that, let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Shilpa Lalit. I'm an artist, art educator and an entrepreneur along with being a mom of two little kids. To know more about me, the online painting workshops that I take and the painting brushes that I am using, you can visit my website www.artishills.com. Now before we talk about the three childhood reminders for your inner artist, I would like to share a little bit about the painting that we are creating in today's episode. And this painting is called I Will Protect You. I love this painting, I love the emotions that are being captured in this painting because I personally feel those emotions. So let me share with you what I am trying to share through this painting through these words. And the words are like this. I will hold you tight, support you, guide you, teach you a lesson when needed, hug you, protect you and love you with all my heart and soul. Since the day you were born until I draw my last breath. All I am is yours. Those are the feelings I get when I am close to nature, on the mountains or by the river. Those are the words I hear the mother nature convey to us and those are the emotions I wanted to draw in this painting. The beautiful woman here is the mother nature and the bird represents us. The gold leaf represents the magic that nature surrounds us with. Do you feel these words in the beautiful painting? Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this. And with that, now let's discuss the three childhood reminders for your inner artist. So the first reminder is you never used to judge yourself. Yes, exactly. Remember that time when you were a little kid, when you used to draw or paint, how freely you used to do and you never used to have that judgment on yourself that oh my god you're spoiling this oh my god you're doing this so bad oh my god you can be better look at that other artist you would never have all that in your mind you would just love what you're doing enjoy what you're doing be in the moment and that's it you never judged yourself right and how liberating that can be if you just you know try to do that for yourself right now as well of course try to improve try to be better with what you do but at the same time just be happy or encourage yourself with what you are doing right now as well without any judgment so let me know in the comment section below will you do that now the second thing was that we were never afraid of the end result as kids right and that is such a huge deal to be able to enjoy the art in the present moment you know the biggest thing that freezes us from making art or trying to create something is that fear that the end result will be crappy or we may spoil it or we may just fail but remember how when we were little and we were playing with some you know canvas or sketchbook or pencils or paper we were never afraid of the end result we were just enjoying the process right and that is also so very important to just be in that moment enjoy the process of the making and not let the end result fear you or freeze you from taking action and this is also such an important reminder from our own childhood and our experiences now what do you think of this let me know in the comments below now the third thing is we used to paint draw create art in the moment yes this is kind of connected to the first two points but to explain it more clearly that's what we used to do we used to just be in the moment without worrying too much about where this particular artwork is going to take us five years from now or ten years from now or are we doing our best or not or are we improving or not we used to just draw scribble paint do everything our heart out and be in that moment and I think this can also be very very liberating because art is more about the process than the final result and being in that moment, being just there in that moment will definitely make that experience so much more enjoyable and calming and relaxing and meditative as well. 
so yes i think those were very very powerful reminders from our childhood and i really hope that these reminders will help you and make you just remember how it used to be when you were a kid and how amazing it would be if you could just give yourself that time where you can just draw or paint like a kid once again i would love to know in the comment section below what was your favorite reminder out of all these three and if you would like to learn my kind of paintings with some very in-depth acrylic painting workshops with each and every detail explained and completely suitable for absolute beginners then do check out such workshops at www.artisansartacademy.com and if you would like to check out the painting brushes that I am using you have to visit my website www.artisans.com we have a variety of various kind of sets at Arishal's Art Brushes which work amazing with watercolor, oil paints, gouache paints, acrylic paints and have some amazing reviews from all over the world as well. So with that being said, I would like to take your leave over here but before I go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any upcoming video on this channel. Also, if you like what I share and if you would like to support my work, then don't forget to share this video with your loved ones on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Stories or on your WhatsApp groups that you might be a part of as that will really, really, really mean a lot and help us out. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you next time. Bye and happy creating. Bye.